Jailbreak has been around for many years now. If you're someone like me who has consistently played it since the release, you've pretty much done everything. Today, I'm going to give you a list of some of the best things you can do in Jailbreak if you're bored with it. First on my list is grinding the season. This is something that you'll never be able to finish because there are always new seasons coming out. So if you enjoy doing contracts, this is great for you. And with the new season revamp, you can actually get daily XP by just playing the game like you normally would. Which is a lot better than mindlessly grinding without any reward. Now you can mindlessly grind and maybe even get a car out of it. Second on the list is trading. Some OG players have an aversion to trading, but if you've always wanted a car, it might be worth it to trade for it. Chances are, if you're an old player, you will have some pretty valuable stuff. I know that I had a ton of stuff that was super valuable from Season 1 and Season 2. Just make sure that you are trading for another fair item. I traded away lots of my items for really big L's, so be careful when you trade. Third on the list is third party events. There are many Discord servers where you can do different things inside of Jailbreak. Jailbreak Motorsport has races and car meets, and that's just to name one. I'm sure you can find many other things to do. Fourth on the list is Crew Battles. Now this is a very new addition to Jailbreak, but they are quite fun. If you watch a Jailbreak YouTuber, chances are is that they have their own crew. You can join one of those or even make your own. Crew Battles are really fun and are a different way to play the game. Crew Battles are super competitive and super fun. Unfortunately, a bunch of them are infested with cheaters, so that's just something to look out for. However, if you do make it to the top 50, you do get a cool drift, and if you make it to the top 10, you get a really awesome other drift. Number 5 on this list is play a different team. If you've always played on the criminal team, it might be worth it to try to play on the police team and see how you like it. Honestly, I feel like playing on the police team is a lot more rewarding and fun, and it takes a lot more skill to play on the police team than on the criminal team. When you're on the criminal team, you can just mindlessly rob, but when you're on the police team, you have to be actively looking for people, and you have to have a lot more skill to arrest people these days, especially with the new rolling mechanics and all the upgraded weapons that we have in the game today. So if you're up to it, play on a different team, see how you like it, and if you still don't like it, you can try one of the other things on this list. Number 6 on this list is play the new Battle Royale game mode in the new update. Battle Royale is super fun. It's awesome to play with if you have a lot of friends, and even if you don't have a lot of friends, you can just invite random people to your private server and have them play with you. Number 7 on my list is play another game. If you're tired of Jailbreak and just keep playing it because that's the only game you play, why don't you try something else? If I had to suggest one game, it would be Ragdoll Universe. You have to try the game, it's super fun. It's actually by Elsplash, who is the guy that made Doors. It's the third installment of the Ragdoll Combat series, so it's super sophisticated and really fun, super underrated. Eighth on this list is the CEO. The CEO is a great way to earn money, you can earn some really cool prizes too. They're not worth that much in trading, but you could stack up a bunch of them and then trade them all for something better. It's a fun thing to do with your friends, or you could try to do it solo, let's see how fast you can do it. There's a lot of different things you can do with the CEO. And related to the CEO, you could also grind airdrops. Airdrops are pretty difficult now that all the glitches have been patched, so you can do that too. Ninth on the list is play the game in a way that it wasn't meant to be played. Go in a jet or something and cause chaos by shooting everyone with missiles. Or you can just like cause chaos all around. Like I said, play the game however you want to, not normally. And to round it all off, finally for number 10 is go outside. Oh.